da da do da 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 Welcome to my channel Crafting Mat. If you want to dry your filament, the Sunlu S2 filament dryer may also have been your choice. Several reviews of this device will show you that it has only one issue. When heating the moisture out from your filament, there is a chance the moisture is trapped in the housing. You may not fully close the housing so the moisture can escape or you add some desiccant to the spool center hole. There are designs out there for suitable desiccant boxes. I put a link down below in the description. Another issue for me was that the one and only exit for the filament is facing to the top. My setup requires an exit to the bottom. If this is also an issue for you, you may apply my solution. If you do so, do it on your own risk of course. I call my mod the bottom feed mod and here it is. You need to loosen the four screws inside the housing fixing the bottom heater plate. You also have to remove the two roller bars which are only snapped in so you can lift the heater plate up a few centimeters. Be careful, the heater plate of course is wired. Make sure you don't damage the wiring. Now you have room to cut out a tiny piece of the metal plate like shown here. It also makes it easier to cut the required slotted hole to the side of your Sunlu S2 and reduces the risk to damage the heater plate. The filament will be guided out of the housing through the new slotted hole inside a Bowden tube. To make sure the Bowden tube does not touch the heater plate, I designed a simple 3D part with two holes which match for the original screws to fix it and one center hole with a diameter of 4 mm to fit the Bowden tube. You can find the link to Thingiverse down below. That's all of the magic. If you want to copy, just go ahead, but copy at own risk. If you liked this video, give me a like and maybe we see you again in another video. Bye bye.